Okay, anything gonna happen? Yes, not. Hail, people. I don't know how, what to call you yet. I think I'm not a marine, but I don't know what I am in this game. Um, well, anyways, welcome to my new let's play, Unreal 2, um, for the PC, obviously. And the cursor kind of closes itself. That's kind of amusing. I didn't know that. So I'm gonna be let's playing that. I'm gonna put it on Unreal difficulty for now. But when I tried the tutorial the other time, yesterday actually, uh, it looked like I could lower it, so yeah. I've only played through this once, so I'm not entirely confident in my ability to go through this. I know I can beat this game, but I don't think I had done that on Unreal difficulty, so... Maybe I can do it, maybe I can't. And, uh, The sound is extremely loud right now. It's kind of annoying. So this is a little ship coming out of a big ship. And we are inside. Yep, spoilers alert. This is us. Or will be us, anyways. Yeah, so I'm doing this game. I've only played through it like once and then I... Well, I completed it, so I just never played it again. Not that it's a bad game, it's kind of good. I remember it being kind of alright, but you know, once you beat this game, there's not much else to do. It's not like a tournament where you can just match, play matches, 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 and never end. <sighs> okay, so we're landing someplace, and we're loading said place, because yeah, that's how this game works. This looks a lot like Mass Effect. Does anyone think like me? This, These loading things, they look a little bit like Mass Effect. That was just me, though. And we arrive at the base! Look at that base! It's a fantastic base. We're on the side there, in the stairs. And we're looking through windows. Well, us camera, not us the marine who's coming up and entering. Well, we're not a marine, so... Commander Hawkins, sir. Good to see you, Dalton. I'll get right to the point. Your request for reinstatement in the Marines has been denied. Again. Oh, come on. I know you're disappointed, but we can try again in six months. Can I bucket up the line? I spoke with General Drexler personally. It was no go. Oh. Damn. When you return to your ship, you'll have a new pilot. He's a Hexcore alien named Naban. A what? We got him in an officer exchange program. He's some kind of muckety muck on his home planet, and the brass want him kept out of harm's way. You've got the quietest patrol, so you're it. I'm getting mighty tired of babysitting the ass end of nowhere. The colonial authority isn't so bad, John. We don't see as much action as the Marines, but our tradition of service is just as strong. Save it for the recruits, sir. I know the score. Stow it, Dalton. We've got a new refresher course set up in the basement. Either give it a run or get back to your ship. Dismissed. This game actually runs in 1080p. That's Do you surprising. want to take the training run? I'll get back to your ship. I want a lower volume. I didn't know the volume would be so loud. Yeah, I'm playing in my goddamn menus. Sound. Ugh. Oh, wait, no. Sound's probably like... Uh, okay, hold on. Let's put it there, and let's put you like here. Yeah, that sounds so much better. So... I could use a refresher. All right. Yeah. Dismissed. There was supposed to be a menu on the left telling me one is for the uh, tutorial and two is not for the tutorial. I decided to go through the tutorial because uh, that's going to be a lot of things that I won't have to explain to you personally. So, yeah, I'm lazy like that. Hello, I can use you. Glad you could drop by, Marshal. Yeah, it's always fun. So, yeah, I'm going to let the game show you a few things, but I'm still going to show you a few things, such as you can crouch walk, but... Crouch walking does not stop you from going off ledges, like this. Uh, indeed. And another thing, I had the objective to <laughs> go in down there. The game doesn't give a shit how you get down there. And it's faster to walk off a cliff than to walk downstairs. So, that's how you do it. 
and it's loading really slowly. Ah, <sighs> tutorial is hard to load, don't you know? Well, I suppose it would be a little bit. Hmm. I mean, there's going to be a death match. Ooh. Yeah, so suddenly and magically we're inside a um, an elevator and we're going this way. And this is our running speed, by the way. This is our walking speed. I I kind of don't like the speed in this game because it's too slow. That's probably one of its probably its biggest drawback. Its biggest I don't know failure. It's still a pretty good game though. I mean, it's single player. It's kind of all right doing a single player a little slow. This wouldn't How pass for multiplayer Marshall? though. I heard you'd be here. Let me reboot the system. Thanks. Why can't I lower you guys' voice in my name's mid? Raf. I'll take you through the program. Okay, Raf. Why can't I lower you guys' voice? I can lower all everything set. Else. Go on in. Thank you. So, hello again, and welcome to the Avalon Training Center. Oh, jeez. The course is lined with holo projectors, so I'll be with you all the way. Now, wait a second while I take a scan. <sighs> It is a bit long at times, but there are some things that he's going to explain that I'm just not going to have to explain. But that's later. Like, Sensors indicate you're wearing XAF power armor. Okay. Let me dig up those specs. Also, you're never going to get those specs ah, if I don't are. do this. Not bad. The Thanks. XAF series isn't the toughest battle armor available, but it's pretty damn versatile. <laughs> Underwater capable, rechargeable shields, plasma heads-up display. Score one for the good old Terran colonial authority. Let's take a look at your HUD. Health and shield indicators are in the upper left. Ammo indicators are upper right. The top counts down your current clip. Underneath is the amount you have in reserve. Yay. Available weapons show up down the right. Oh, hey, I have weapons. Why can't I use them right now? I'd love to use them. Oh, well. Your suit also scans for important objects like switches and panels, even people. Come over and look at me to activate the use reticle, then hit your use control. Which is F for me. Using someone will get their attention so you can talk to them. Yay. Sometimes your suit will give you numbered options of things to say. Go ahead, pick a number. Such as, can How we about go now? we pick up the pace and get to the weapon? Yeah. Soon. Let's move on. Next up is agility training. Go use the button next to the exit. That would be the button. Okay. While you're on the obstacle course, you'll hear me through your suit's radio. It's a good unit with excellent range that even extends off planet if the signal's strong Shut enough. Shut up and get going. Stand by while I configure the course for your suit. Let's start with something huh? simple. Jump over these blocks. Done. Not bad, but not every jump is so easy. Why not? Um, it's a bit high. Jump straight up and don't stop. You'll drag yourself onto that ledge. It's called mantling. Give it a try. Mantling doesn't work if you do something like this. You have to be hitting your wall, your head on the wall, and then you jump, and it's gonna work. All right, now crouch down and crawl under these blocks. Now don't worry, I won't let them drop any further. Well, why is there an area there? Anyways, yeah, crouching. I I know how to do that. Thank you. Great. Go through that door. It's time for the good stuff. Yeah. Weapons. <gasps> Weapons. <gasps> Woo. <clears throat> and the hologram can get out of there somehow. Walk faster. Let's start with every rookie's first gun. The disper pistol. The what pistol? The disper pistol. Oh, I hope this is Go not ahead. my recording glitching Ready. though. The guy's glitching. Maybe my recording's glitching. So this thing. Not a very realistic target. Sorry, it's been an epic wait for the tech upgrade. Epic Take wait. Take a couple practice ha, shots. Ha ha ha. Game company producing this is. So this is primary fire. This pistol doesn't pack a whole punch, but it's always there for yeah. you because it never runs out of ammo. Alternate charge. Give the set. alternative fire a try. It builds up a charge and then releases a bigger blast. I'm regretting coming here. The the alternate fire charges it up. You can charge it up until you have zero ammo and then ammo recharges. Which is funny, I think, but whatever. It's slower. We done? 
He never knew what hit him. Yeah. Enough of the pop gun. Let's take a look at a real weapon. Thank you. The combat assault rifle is a marshal's best friend. Load oh, I'm a marshal. Ammo and mow down this dangerous desperado. Right. I'm a marshal. Yeah. It's a minigun. What do you want from me? The car's primary fire mode is fully automatic, and it goes through rounds of uranium <sighs> shards like candy. Yay. While you're firing, watch the upper right of your HUD to see the ammo drain from the current foot. Always try to find a quiet moment to reload before combat. Otherwise, you may find yourself caught having to reload in the middle of a firefight. The car's alt fire is a concentrated bolt of five shards that breaks up on impact and will even bounce off walls. See if you can ricochet it against the wall and hit the target. It ricochets weirdly. Catch on quick. This next weapon isn't standard issue, but what the hell? Sometimes you just gotta have fun. Standard issue. Oh yeah, that other weapon. Get to it faster. No weapon is more versatile and dangerous than the grenade launcher. It Thank holds up you. to six different types of ammo, and each has radically different uses. Yeah. The standard is your basic fragmentation grenade. Use a few to blast away at these little guys. They're not radically different. I mean, I have two um, grenades right now, frag and incendiary. You switch between grenade types by... Um, Right clicking. The alternate fire is switch your uh, weapons around. Primary fire shoots the grenades. Notice that tapping your primary fire makes the grenades explode on contact. If you're aiming on the run, hit something near your enemy and he'll feel it. Holding down the trigger on the primary fire engages the timing mechanism. So you can bounce the grenades around some before they explode. Use your old fire like to switch so. between grenade types. The crosshair on your HUD will tell you which one is chambered. I've given you some incendiary grenades, so load them up and prepare for a show. Um, the grenade launcher is a little awkward, because if you tap, it's going to trigger on contact to whatever. You're a natural, Dalton. Hey, I need to test some new features um, I just loaded. How about you and I go one-on-one? -on -one? Whatever. Uh, I was saying, yeah, this is awkward because you can't have it bounce around a wall and hit and explode on impact with the uh, enemy. That's the best frag uh, grenade or whatever grenade launcher because it's easier to use. Now I either have to hit it directly. Why are you taking my weapons away? We're going to the deathmatch. Here's how it works. That's silly. I play as a holo and my weapons are holographic too. But they'll register on your armor as real hits. Oh no. If you die, you go back to full health and shields, but I score a point. If I die, you get a point. Whoever gets the five first wins. Let's burn him. If you get a kill, be sure to run over my holo corpse so your power armor absorbs any remaining energy and applies it to your shields. If you want to bail at any time, just push the button next to the exit and go on through. One last word of advice. Load up on ammo before you go in. Done. So, let's burn him. Why not? Anytime you're ready. Bring Death it, though. Match start. Where are you? Oh, whoops. God, I hate this gun. Why am I using this gun? Is he dead yet? He's dead. Okay. Let's use another gun. Give me some shield. Give me some sh Okay, I guess he did. Where are you? Nice. Shot. Got him. I need health though. Pretty badly. Ah, no health. He killed me once now. I didn't feel it, but he killed me. Dang it. Health over there. I need that help. Ow. Five points. I win. What? Better luck next time. What do you mean, I again? No. Maybe next no, but time. But what do you mean? You didn't kill me five times. You killed me two times. This guy cheats. <laughs> Tell you what. Whatever. Don't care. Uh, what's the door? There's the door. Can I like dash maybe? That would be fantastic. 
recharge your health and shields. Just step inside each station and they'll work automatically. <sighs> they work automatically, but not infinitely, unfortunately. Yay. Oh man, I hope this recording is not getting screwed up because I am lagging just a little bit. Just a little bit, not much. Um, hello? Oh, he's on the other room. In the other room. Completed my objectives. Where are you going? Stop following me. Okay, oh, fine. That was great. Can't remember when I've had such a blast. You know, if I put two flags in there, I could sell tickets, maybe get someone to sponsor a tournament. Those guys over at Leandre have more money than brains. Hmm. Good luck, Marshal. Go keep the frontier safe. Yeah, I'm a marshal. So I'm, I guess I'm going to call you guys marshals. Hail marshals! Yeah, that sounds all right. And back to our ship. Mm, sort of big ship. I mean, that's decent, I suppose. But that cockpit, uh, cockpit is just a little bit larger than a man, so... If you just take that scale and apply it to the rest of the ship, not that big. Hey, it's Europe, I think. Maybe. Loading. Loading. It does have kind of long loading screens at times, which is annoying. I could cut them, I suppose, maybe. Or maybe I could just talk all the time. So, yeah, deathmatch. I kind of failed at it somehow. I, I won in my practice run, but I don't know how he killed me five times. It was 2-1 for me, and then it was, what, it was... 5-2 for him or something? I don't know how that happened. Personally, I think it glitched out, but I guess I'm just going to have to see when I edit this. Hmm. I, I didn't see him getting 5 kills, though. That's just wrong. It's got to be. I'm better than that. Are you finished loading already? God, this is long. Yeah, I, I might cut the loading screens. Oh, they're done. Okay. I guess it's gonna... ooh, hot chick. Of course we have hot chick on board. So, um... What was I saying? Hot chicks are very, uh... derailing of thought process. Um... Yeah. I guess it's gonna depend on whether I have something to say or not. Whether I cut the loading screen. Yuxan Corp. I guess we have Yuxan Corp. Uh, gear. First Hello. officer Ida, returning command of the ship to you, sir. Your first officer. Ship's engineer Isaac is standing by on the upper deck, and ship's pilot Nabon has the con. Yay! You have a nice tattoo there. Why so formal? What's with all the ranks and titles? Prolonged exposure to brass usually makes you revert to your primitive military state. Just trying to make you feel at home. Yay, sir. What's our status? While you were docking, we received a distress call from the Alara Star System. Oh no. We're already en route. Yay. Would you like to take an inspection tour of the ship and meet our new pilot, or go right to the briefing room for the mission? This is basically your uh, question. Do you want to get a tour of the ship or not? We've got plenty of time. Let's take a look around. Yep. Okay. Let's begin right here in the drop room. We need a new airlock unit, but the quartermaster on Avalon didn't have any, as usual. Yeah. We've ordered a new one for our next visit. I'll wait for you outside the briefing room. Thank you. She's got a nice tattoo. There's a snake coming out of her uh, pants, which is probably a biblical reference to Eve. Eve and the snake and everything. <laughs> 